I'm sorry, but we already departed while I was using the restroom at the rest area. During that time, I received a call from Luke, and I couldn't help but wonder what he wanted at such a moment. Upon answering, I overheard Luke and his in-laws laughing boisterously. When I inquired about the commotion, he shared something unbelievable. They were going to enjoy themselves with the family, and I could head back home to clean or do something productive. Anticipating this trip for a long time, I felt a mix of excitement and reservations about traveling with his family. Staying in a luxury inn was something I had looked forward to. However, the shock of being left alone at a rest area, inside the restroom stall, left me feeling deeply betrayed. Despite my anger, I lightly replied, Okay, unforgivable. Today marked not only our wedding anniversary, but also my birthday, and we embarked on this trip. I decided that he would regret this. My name is Lucy Mitchell, a 33-year-old housewife without children, living with my husband Luke. We celebrated our one-year wedding anniversary on my birthday. Luke, with his romantic nature, always cherished our anniversaries and birthdays. He was raised in a wealthy family, and those childhood memories lingered, prompting him to celebrate special days in grand style. We met at a matchmaking agency, where men from affluent backgrounds like Luke were popular. Despite initial doubts, I approached him, and luckily, I seemed to be his type, leading to our marriage. Unbeknownst to me, after getting married, my life would take a turn for the worse. A year ago, Luke and I started our marital life in a two-bedroom apartment in the city. Luke desired a larger house, but I disagreed, suggesting we live within our means. Despite his family's wealth, I felt guilty about our expensive $1,200 rented as a housewife. Luke assured me, don't worry. My dad will sort it out. As time passed, our marital life took a troubling turn. Luke's frequent visits to his parents' house even for seemingly trivial reasons, left me feeling uneasy about our new lead life. This unease grew when he casually mentioned having dinner with his parents on a regular evening without inviting me, his wife. The frequent absence and lack of inclusion in family events made me question the dynamics of our marriage. As I shared my concerns with a friend during a dinner, she expressed surprise at Luke's actions, stating, he goes home that often and leaves you behind for a cousin's birthday. That's crazy. She had been married for five years, and she had more experience than me in married life. Realizing that her reaction was a common sentiment, I felt embarrassed. You're right, it's weird. But according to Luke, it's normal. Seriously, don't take this the wrong way, but hasn't he really grown up yet? Maybe upon reflection, her comment struck a chord. It's unusual for a 35-year-old, even if he's set to take over his dad's business, to prioritize family affairs after getting married. I regretted not recognizing Luke's true nature before marrying him. Returning home after dinner with my friend, I fell down. I'm home, Lucy. Where have you been? Isn't it normal for a wife to cook dinner and wait for her husband, Mrs. Mitchell? To my surprise, my mother-in-law was in the living room. Luke was apparently out perhaps at a convenience store. Why are you here? Weren't you and Luke supposed to dine out tonight? That got canceled due to some issue at the restaurant. I thought Luke had messaged you just a bit ago. Didn't you check? She pointed it out, and I looked at my phone. Indeed, ten minutes ago, Luke had messaged that he'd be home early, but that was just about when I got off the train. There's no way I could have gotten home and started dinner in such a short time. Yes, he did message, but I saw it just now. What the heck? This is the problem with kids from single-parent households. You can tell they weren't raised right. My mother-in-law's words stabbed me in the heart. Indeed, I was raised in a single mother's home. After my mom gave birth to me, my father passed away due to an illness. Despite that, my mother did her best to raise me lovingly. I wish she wouldn't say things that belittled my mother's hard work. It has nothing to do with being raised by a single parent. I just hadn't seen the message yet, I retorted, clearly irritated, but she brushed off my comment and changed the subject. Well, anyway, I've always noticed this, but your house is quite small. I think it's average. It's suitable for just the two of us. 
You can't be serious. I feel sorry for Luke, living in such a cramped space. My interactions with my mother-in-law continue to stress me out. Both my mother-in-law and father-in-law, perhaps because of their wealth, often seemed condescending. That's why I never got along with them. Realizing further conversation was futile, I silently started preparing dinner. Ignoring me, she went on and turned on the TV. From that day, she started dropping by unexpectedly more often. Even my father-in-law came along a couple of times. Mostly, they complained about how dirty the kitchen was or how cramped the house felt. Eventually, they'd sarcastically suggest, You know, we have a bigger house. Why not move in? I absolutely didn't want that. I firmly declined every time. They always visited when Luke wasn't home, so Luke didn't know about their snide remarks. I once talked to him about it, but his reply was, Why not? Why is living together a bad idea? I was dismayed when he too suggested we be in. From then on, I realized there was no point in discussing it with Luke, and I endured on my own. Soon, we'd be celebrating our first wedding anniversary, which also happened to be my birthday. For your birthday this weekend, I'm thinking of celebrating more grandly than last year. After all, it's also our anniversary, Luke said as he came home tipsy from work. Seeing his flushed face, I couldn't be sure of his sincerity. Knowing his love for celebrations, I felt a hint of excitement. What? Last year, you treated me to a delicious dinner, which was more than enough. That's nothing compared to what I've planned. Let's go on a family trip. A family trip. The term sounded odd for just the two of us. Noticing my confusion, Luke continued. My parents, cousins, uncles, and all will join. We're heading to a luxury resort in Palm Springs. All those people, and why Palm Springs? Got a problem with a family trip? Or is it Palm Springs you're not keen on? No, it's not that. Honestly, I couldn't understand why my birthday and our anniversary would involve his family, who had nothing to do with either occasion. I couldn't grasp what Luke was thinking. I've always known he's a bit out of touch with the general populace, but I hadn't expected this level of disparity. While the choice of Palm Springs puzzled me a bit, it wasn't a major issue. Sounds fun, right, Lucy? Sometimes you've got to let loose and enjoy. Luke, in his intoxicated state, grabbed my shoulders, and I found myself nodding in agreement. For the next week, I couldn't get the trip out of my mind. At first, I was skeptical about going with his entire family. But as Luke said, it's a rare vacation, and I should make the most of it. During the trip preparations, I noticed my growing excitement, and a genuine smile crept onto my face. I knew my in-laws would probably make snide remarks as usual, but I vowed to ignore them completely. Finally, the awaited Saturday arrived. Luke and I headed to his parents' house, our meeting point for the trip. Well, Lucy, you're late, aren't you? Do you even realize you're the star today? Right in front of the assembled family, my mother-in-law was quick to throw shade, but it seemed she did realize that I was supposed to be the star, so it took the edge off her words a bit. I'm sorry, there was traffic, I replied. Excuses won't do. We should leave soon. Otherwise, we'll be late to our luxury resort. All right, all right, let's get going. Despite their grumbling about our tardiness, it was tolerable. After all, They'd been making such remarks throughout the past year. Luke's cousin appeared much younger than him, looking to be in his early twenties, with a sinister look in his eyes. I began to wonder if everyone in this family was mean-spirited. My paranoia was somewhat justified when he made a belittling comment. This is Luke's wife. Not what I expected. I diverted my gaze from him, figuring that reacting would only invite more nitpicking. I decided to show a mature demeanor. I'm so excited. I've been to luxury resorts multiple times, but tonight's place costs $1,000 per person. Hearing the figure, $11,000, I was both shocked and had a sudden thought. No way could it be. I climbed into my in-law's car. Once my father-in-law hit the gas, the car swiftly started moving. The journey from here to our Palm Springs destination would take about two hours. We decided to take a short break at the next rest stop. About an hour into our journey, I excused myself. I'll be right back, heading to the restroom. 
All right, off you go, my mother-in-law waved, as if shooing away a stray dog. I headed to the rest stop bathroom, feeling the weight of everyone's eyes on me, or was it just my imagination? Taking a deep breath inside the bathroom stall, I felt relieved that the trip had been relatively uneventful so far. I hoped the remainder of our journey would be equally smooth. Just as I was settling into that thought, my phone vibrated in my pocket. It was Luke's name on the display. Expecting him to ask me to pick something up, I casually answered the call. I'm still in the restroom, Luke. With what sounded like amusement, he replied, alongside the laughter of my mother-in-law, sorry, but we've already left. There was a moment of stunned silence on my end, and laughter echoed from their side. What do you mean? When I asked Luke, he replied, we're going to have fun with our family. You should just go home and clean, Lucy dear. Today's trip is just for the Mitchell family. It's a pity, but you'll have to stay behind. Goodbye. I was told the unbelievable. I had been looking forward to this trip for a long time. Having his family join us was a bit of a concern, but staying at a luxury hotel had me excited. And now, they left me alone at the rest area. I was trembling inside the restroom stall, feeling utterly betrayed. Trying to hide my anger, I responded with a light. Okay, this was unforgivable. Today was our wedding anniversary and my birthday, and they brought me on this trip. I'll make them regret this. After leaving the restroom, I called someone. The person on the other end was shocked and shared some astonishing news. I asked, really? They responded, yes. Then the person on the phone promised to come pick me up. Left alone at the rest area like this was unbearable. Praying for a timely rescue, an hour later, my uncle came to pick me up in his car. I'm so sorry to trouble you like this. It's okay. It's quite an unfortunate situation. Yes, they're headed to a luxury hotel in Palm Springs. That means, my uncle tilted his head in thought, seeming to realize something. I think that's the case, I replied. I'm really sorry, but can you please take me there? I'll take the train back, got it. The drive there is nice anyway. Uncle gladly accepted my request to go to Palm Springs. About an hour later, we arrived. In Palm Springs, Luke and the others came here in front of us was a luxurious inn with a grand gate. It was a well-known hotel, the only luxury accommodation I knew of that cost $1,000 a night. At the reception, I was told, dinner starts at 6 o'clock p.m., please follow me. The person who greeted me with a smile was my mother. Lucy, it's been a while. Dressed in an elegant outfit and smiling gracefully in a manner that could seem somewhat formal to others, it was undeniably my mother. Indeed, this inn has been run by my mother's family for many years, and she currently holds the position of the innkeeper. After becoming a single mother, she began working at this inn, so to me, this place feels like home. I had called my mother from the rest area and was surprised to hear that there was a reservation today from the group at Mitchell Securities. I had a suspicion when I heard they were going to a luxury hotel in Palm Springs, but I never imagined they would be coming to our very own inn. Of course, the family doesn't know that this inn is run by my mother. Still, what a terrible story, Lucy. You can't just let this slide. Yeah, I know. That's why I came here. I see. Why don't we did you changed over here? I prepared to greet them at the dinner table. An hour later, at 6 o'clock p.m., the in-law family gathered for dinner. I hid in the next room to remain unnoticed. I slightly opened the door to observe the inside. Ah, the spa was amazing. I'd want to come here every day if I could. If it were closer, we could indeed come every day. At the very least, if you become the CEO, we could afford to come here any time. Really looking forward to that. I mean, the subordinates handle all the work anyway. I want to become a CEO soon too. Luke and his family, thinking they were among themselves, were making some rather crude remarks. But when my mother appeared from the other side of the door and greeted them, the room went silent. Today, I will be in charge of serving you. Please let me know if you need anything. Seeing my mother bow with perfect grace, there was a tangible tension amongst the family. However, when the food was served, 
they resumed their inappropriate discussions. For a while, both my mother and I did nothing, simply watching the plates empty before them. It's great that we all could come. We got rid of the bothersome daughter-in-law, and the food is delicious. Perfect. If you say that, she might get angry, you know. It's fine. She's not really one of us, to be frank. She never was. After all, it would be a shame to have a child from a single-parent family in our household. Hearing her mother-in-law's harsh words, my frustration boiled to an almost uncontrollable point. At that very moment, my mother entered the room with a dessert plate loaded with cake and fruit. Today, I've heard it's Miss Lucy's birthday and also her wedding anniversary with her husband. May I know where Miss Lucy is seated? In response to my mother's question about where to place the cake, the family looked at each other, confused. Nobody told you that? Excuse me, I'm the innkeeper, and I've clearly heard about it. Did Lou call? What? I didn't tell anyone. There was an awkward silence in the room, and the in-laws exchanged glances. In the end, the mother-in-law raised her hand. I am Lucy. I was too embarrassed to mention it at this age, but thank you all for the surprise. Given that the only woman in the room was the mother-in-law, her reaction was appropriate. However, my mother gave a faint smile upon seeing her act. Hey, what's so funny? Is it strange to be surprised at my age? No, not at all. I wasn't thinking that. Then what? Just bring the cake already. Yes, but before that, there's something I'd like to share. The irate mother-in-law barked at her. My mother composed herself. I swallowed hard. Lucy Mitchell is my daughter. What? Everyone present made a dumbfounded expression and raised their voices in shock. Seeing an opportunity, I swiftly opened the door from the adjacent room and stood next to my mother. Welcome. This innkeeper is my mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Luke exclaimed. Lucy, why are you here? And what do you mean she's your mother? It means exactly that. This inn belongs to my family. I'd also intend to take over this place someday. In truth, Luke had never met my mother before. While part of it was due to my mother being busy with the inn, Luke and his parents also insisted on not meeting her face to face. I had received a phone call from Luke for our wedding introduction, but he never met her in person. I showed my mother a picture of Luke and explained who he was. It was an unconventional introduction, but I believed my mother had accepted him. From your conversations earlier, could you please refrain from mocking and belittling my mother for being a single parent? That's right. What's with the sudden drama? What grudge do you have against us? Neither Luke nor his mother nor anyone else seemed to realize the extent of the disrespect they had shown me. Exasperated, I let out my anger that had been building up. Grudges? If I have any grudges, it starts with you, Luke. I thought you were a good person when we got married, but it turns out you're a mama's boy. You married me, so you should prioritize me above all else, right? Don't join forces with your parents to mock me. Faced with my undeniable logic, Luke was rendered speechless. My mother just listened quietly to my outburst and to my in-laws. Why do you treat me this way? If you find me such a nuisance, I can leave the Mitchell family right now. What? You'll become a lonely, poor single woman. Yeah, are you sure about being alone? Both the mother-in-law and Luke sneered. Looking back and forth between my mother and me, I stared back fiercely. It's okay. Actually, I'm pregnant, so I won't be lonely. And if I inherit this inn, I won't have any financial worries. The truth is, I found out I was pregnant last week, and I hadn't told Luke yet. Only my mother knew, which is why she wasn't surprised. A child? What are you talking about? I haven't heard about this. Wait, Lucy, if that's the case, it changes things. You should have told us sooner. Upon learning I was pregnant, the family immediately changed their tune. I couldn't stand their fickle and unreasonable behavior any longer and shouted again, No, my decision is final. Let's proceed with the divorce through lawyers. I will live happily with my child and my mother. Saying this, I'd opened the door to the hall they were in and left. The door slammed shut with a sharp noise. I'm done with this. My child will be happier without that family. Whether trying to change my mind or not, 
I received over 30 calls a day from Luke and his parents. Eventually, I blocked all their numbers. A few days later, I received a letter from Luke informing me of our official divorce. The letter expressed his regret and pleaded for me to return, but I ignored it and tore it up. I thought he might neglect our child just like he prioritized his parents over me, and I absolutely didn't want that. Being alone and lonely would be your fate, not mine. I thought he should enjoy his bachelor life. Currently, I am nurturing my child in my womb and discussing future plans with my mother. Once the child is born and grows a bit, I plan to send them to daycare and join the inn's business. The path to becoming the next innkeeper is long, but to raise my child properly, I am determined to work hard.